Hi and welcome back to the Target Transfers YouTube channel. We're the UK's leading manufacturer of heat transfers and home of Styles Electronics here in the UK. Don't forget to subscribe and turn those notifications on because we're going to be learning a lot today. So first up, what I want to cover today is heat press productivity. So this is the number one question we get from all of our customers. How can I save time and money when I'm heat printing? Is there anything I could do more efficient? How can I get those incremental gains as a printer and turn myself from a semi-professional into a professional heat printer? And today I'm gonna to show you just how you can do that. There's some fantastic time saving where you can save just five seconds, 10 seconds here, and that's gonna add up to five, 10, or even 55 days a year if you're a real volume printer. Tip number one, prop application. So this is one of the most common mistakes people make is that overfusing garments. You might fuse for 10 seconds instead of five on your pre-press. Five is fine, don't go any more than that. You might overfuse the transfer because you think I need to make sure I'm getting this transfer in. I want to add a little bit of time in. Stop doing it. Heat transfer are made, are made on a very specific recipe. So if we say it's 12 seconds, if your heat press is accurate like a hot tonics machine, it's 12 seconds. And stop fusing for a second time. Unless we tell you to fuse again, you don't need to do that fusing. We've got so many people who have come across that they fuse for 10 seconds at the beginning, uh, 10 seconds in the middle, and then on second press for 10 seconds. It's just a waste of your time. You don't achieve anything from it. You're just adding double the amount of time into every single t-shirt you print, and it's a waste of your time. So right there, you could save, you can cut your production down in half. That's number one tip. So today, to really highlight just how important these productivity hacks are and why these incremental gains can be such a massive boost to your business, we're gonna be doing a stopwatch challenge on how to print t-shirts. I have a standard black t-shirt here and we're gonna use the same t-shirt on every single productivity hack so you can see it's exactly the same, it's a controlled variable. I'm also going to be using the same transfer across the board. So this is a Ultra Color Max direct to film heat transfer. So these are the brand new transfer product we bought in at Target Transfers and uh, International as part of Styles. So this is the uh, best way to get one-offs and do personalization at scale. So really great transfer. This is gonna peel hot. So it will be um, really, really interesting to see how these perform. And all I'm gonna do is just do a simple fusing with a pre-press, correct instructions, and you'll see just how quickly it is to make some gains. So Molly's very kindly gonna assist me with a stopwatch, which you'll be able to see, and you'll be able to get these exact numbers and we'll see how they can relate to your business. So, so when Molly says go, that's when I'll start using this Garmin. Three, two, one, go. So just using a standard heat press setup today. Five second pre-press, so I was using the Hotronics Max clamp to start off with, which is the entry level Hotronics machine, which anyone can get started with. Then I'm going to fuse the Ultra Color Max for 12 seconds. We're not going to worry too much about placement at this point. I just want to show you just how quickly you can make some very quick time savings are. This is going to take 12 seconds. I'm going to peel it hot. And then when I peel it off, the shirt off the press, that's when we know to stop the timer. Okay, so how did I do? 41 seconds. So 41 seconds for a standard fuse. This is with a pre-press and a main press, hot peel. And this is a standard heat press setup on a workbench. So you can see this is a very standard setup that just about any one of you have. So I'm gonna show you how to do the very first productivity hack here. And this is something called a quick slip protector. And the clue's very much in the title of this one. It's quicker because it's, that's how you can slip your shirt on in a quick fashion. So this is gonna be our very first productivity hack. And these are available from targettransfers.com. They only are about 40 pounds to start off. So really, really uh, small investment in your business to get some really great time savings, which I'm gonna show you in just a moment. So you just pop the quick slip on here, wait for it to go nice and tight. And what this is gonna do is gonna enable you to get your shirt on that little bit quicker. And the time savings that you're gonna make by doing this are gonna really add up over the course of a day and a year. So once again, we're gonna run the top watch on this and I'm gonna do exactly the same. Fuse the Ultra Color Max onto this T-shirt. So when you're ready, Molly, let me know. Go! So do five second pre-press again. Bring it back up. Put the transfer down. 12 second main press. We'll peel it hot, we'll pull it off the press and see how it did stacked up against the standard heat printing time. So remind it was 41 seconds the first time around. So let's see how much time we're gonna shave off by using a quick slip protector. Okay, 
How do we do? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. So, so I just saved you 11 seconds per t-shirt for your business just by using a quick slip protector. To put that into some perspective and what that actually means to your business over a year, if you can save 11 seconds per t-shirt, if you're doing one, only 100 shirts per day, you're going to save seven and a half working days per year. So a week and a half working days per year, if you're only if you're printing 100 t-shirts a day. So it's a massive saving because that extra capacity you can get, it's gonna bring so much more revenue into your business. So this is a very simple hack and it's gonna save you so much time. But if you're a volume printer, and you'll say you're doing 500 shirts per day and you have a simple heat press, you could save 37 days per year just by putting a quick slip protector on your um, heat press. 37 working days. That is a month and a half of time, extra capacity you're gonna get back into your business per heat press. That saving is massive because that extra capacity you can bring in is gonna have a massive impact on the finance of your business. So I highly encourage you to try that productivity hack for yourself. That'll pay itself back in probably three days. So there's a re it's a real no brainer that way. It's gonna give you a real edge over your competitors. And now I'm gonna go one step further because I'm gonna add a quick slip onto press and I'm going to introduce you into something we call threadability at Hotronics. What we mean by threadability is the ability to seamlessly thread that garment all the way through the t-shirt, all the way through the bottom of the press here. So I've put it onto the Hotronics counter caddy, which works with all um, auto open and Hotronics max clam presses, exactly the same attachment on the bottom. And this is a great hack for making your uh, garment more accessible to you. All we're gonna do is we're gonna do exactly the same application. We're gonna use Ultracolor Max again, but I'm gonna show you how to make even more time savings with another tiny investment on your business. So, let's grab my transfer. And then Molly's gonna give me the go and we'll get fusing on this. Three, two, one, go. So, five second pre-press again. The Electronics Max Press has the wonderful addition of the auto open feature, so I can go even quicker. Just gonna bring it down 12 seconds. I'm gonna peel it hot. I'm gonna show you how you can save another few seconds off your average garment press time. So when it pops, it's gonna pee back open. I'm gonna pull the transfer and then I'm gonna show you. Nice easy peel, glides off. How do we do? 26 seconds. 26 seconds. So to remind you, at the very beginning on the first press, standard setup, it was 41 seconds. Second time around, we saved you a further 11 seconds, and now we saved you another five seconds. So we've gone from 41 seconds to 26 seconds average fusing time. Now, I appreciate that I wasn't lining up the garment perfectly, but I did that consistently across all of them. And the time it takes to actually place your transfer will be exactly the same all the way through. You're still gonna save that time with the, um, with the loading of the garment. So to give you those, uh, those numbers and give you that perspective again, the first time around, if you were uh, fusing 100 shirts a day, I saved you seven and a half days. That was based on an 11 second time saving. This time around, I saved you 15 seconds on average printing time. So that num those numbers mean you save 11 days a year. So we've gone from seven and a half days time saving to 11 days time saving for 100 shirts. If you're doing 300 shirts, that's 33 days. If you're doing 500 shirts, which we have a lot of customers doing, 500 shirts, so per press, per operator, you're gonna save 55 working days per year if you can save 15 seconds of time every single time. So this is massive time savings. Imagine how much more revenue you can bring into your business if you had 55 spare days. All you have to do is put a quick slip on your press, add a counter caddy, so you're looking at an investment of a maximum of 280 pounds to save 55 working days for your business. It, it seems like a no-brainer to me. But I'm gonna go one step further than that and show you how to really upscale your business. So this is for those that are doing neck labels, which everyone should do, because this is the perfect business card. I'm gonna show you how to save even more time with your business by using a tag-along platen. So I'm gonna use the Hotronics Quick Release platens here. So every single Hotronics machine has interchangeable platens, which you can use across the whole range. Just pop it back up. Let's pop that to the side. Then I'm gonna introduce the tag along platen. This is a fantastic new development from Hotronics. It's gonna allow you to do two placements at the same time and really make some savings. 
So, to remind you, standard placement for one application on standard heat press is 41 seconds. I'm now gonna show you how to do two placements at the same time. So if you imagine if you were doing a front chest and a neck label on a standard press, you're looking at at least 82 seconds if using standard setup. It's probably gonna be even longer than that by the time we then turn the t-shirt inside out as well. More like, probably more like 100 to 120 seconds. We're gonna show you how to make a really big time saving here. Just before I do it, I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. So you can see it in slow motion. For the, if you've never done it before, you just glide your t-shirt on. All you do then is pull your neck through. That's how you're gonna get a double application. I would use a terrible neck label, then you can get two applications at the same time, one on the front, one on the neck. That's how we're gonna take that time saving down. So remember, have 100 seconds in your mind as an average time for doing a neck label and a front chest on a heat press normally. So I'm gonna use Ultra Color Max again. So I've got a tiny little neck label one here. Got the main transfer here as well. We're gonna run the time rule one more time, then we're gonna show exactly how it's done. Okay, this is how to make time savings on a double print. Three, two, one, go. So T-shirt's on there, slide it off, bring the neck through, get that label out of the way, make it a nice flat surface for it. We're gonna give it a pre-press again. Five seconds is all it's gonna need. I'm already waiting with my transfers because I've got the auto open to pop up for me. Neck label on, front chest on, 12 seconds. So remember, 100 seconds at least if you're using a standard print setup to do front chest and a neck label by the time you've turned it inside out and had to bring it off the press. So here I'm gonna do front uh, peel and a neck label. Bring that chair, neck label off. Okay. 46 seconds. 46 seconds. So that is to do the neck label, which is on perfectly. Front perfectly. That is gonna just take you 46 seconds to do a neck and a front at the same time. So just a reminder, that is versus probably 100 to 120 seconds if you're doing both on a standard setup. So that's 60 seconds per garment. That is an absolutely massive saving. So you're cutting your production down in half. So at that point, you're probably looking at more like 100 days time saving coming back to you. So you can literally double your capacity if you're doing neck labels and front chest at the same time. This is just some of the productivity hacks you can make with the Hot Tonics range, which is available on targettransfers.com. So just a reminder, quick slip, quick slip and a counter caddy or counter stands if you want something freestanding or even better, add the tag along platen onto your press and you can make some absolute monstrous savings, a minimum saving of 11 working days per year. Thanks for watching the productivity video today. If you enjoyed watching along and if you're thinking about saving 11 working days to your business, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn those notifications on because we've got loads more time savings and productivity hacks coming your way. Mm -hmm.